All right, let me get a drink for this one because it's going to be an interesting one. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm Andy and I'm very excited to do another first impressions, which you guys know I love to do. This is the first impressions that I did, or I'm doing, from a haul that I just recorded. I know it's gonna make for an interesting video. It's either going to destroy the makeup that I just did or it's going to um, actually work really nicely and I'm going to have a new favorite uh, go-to thing to make my life a little bit simpler. But there is a big trend right now going on. Um, I remember back when, probably like four or five years ago when like eyebrow stencils were a trend and I tried to buy into that because at the time like I couldn't shape my eyebrows to save my life and the pictures from them are, are horrible because like it was just like this giant monster caterpillar. But I wasn't using the right products and that was part of it. And I tried to use the stencils and the stencils were not for me. So that was bad too. This is what I would equate to it for eyeliner. Um, so it is the Perfect Winged Liner in Seconds from Vamp Stamp. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the Vamp Stamp? It's from I don't know the brand. I can't even get one. I don't know. Maybe it's Vamp Stamp. I don't know. Anyway, it's from a company that makes this this the stamp. And it was one of the 21 Days of Beauty specials. It was on a Wednesday. They were giving away free gift, which I ordered to get it, and then it didn't get shipped to me because I guess it was like incinerated or something. But anyway, I finally got it. It finally came, um, and we're going to test it today. I have not opened it to like examine it. I wanted to do that on camera as well uh, so that you guys really got my full first experience because I don't really know what to expect. If you've been with us for a while, you may remember my uh, attempted false eyelash application that was like the biggest failure of my life and I'm kind of thinking this might play out like that it might not I'm hoping for the best but I just don't expect a lot so we will see um upon initial inspection really nice like texture to everything in here um even like the little packaging is like really sturdy so that's kind of cool but it comes with all right so they got different they got different sides for the liner or for the um, the wings. So you've got the left side and the right side. They are labeled for you. Um, that actually is very helpful for me because I'd probably be like, ah, just flip it around. And it's, it, like I said, it's a really nice texture. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but they've got like the little purple wings. They're like this nice thick rubbery material. And then um, just the, the holder itself is like a really nice durable plastic. So I like the feel of it, um, which for me, for whatever reason, like brush feel and that kind of stuff is a, is a big factor in like how I apply it because like, I don't, I don't know, it just is. And then it comes with like a little like precision brush so you can go in and finish it off, like kind of connect it down after you've done it. The top of my little safety tab is a uh, wonky. He's got like some serious problems, um, but you know what? We all do, so not judging. Um, but the brush itself looks fine, so that's what the brush looks like without wonky guy. Finally, in this, you get a nice little jar of their eyeliner. I have gotten a couple of different like jarred eyeliners, one from Tarte, one from, I think it's Aesthetica maybe, that I got from my BoxyCharm. It came with this brush, I know, which I, I use the brush all the time, I just don't really use the eyeliner because uh, you know, I'm not very good at it, so, uh, but I have, I have been watching videos that I had the winged eyeliner in, and I really like the look of it, so I would like to become better at it so that I can use it more, so hopefully this guy helps. This little pan, when you look inside of it, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera or not, it may just look like a black hole, just like my heart. It is one of the sponge applicators, which I think will make it easier in terms of like working with these little stampy guys. So without more um, babbling for me, I'm going to jump in. I'm gonna start with the left eye because I always seem to struggle more with the left eye. So uh, there, it's, it says L, so I'm guessing that's for the left eye. Um, ooh, there is some, oh wow, oh, I came in hot. I went in too hot, holy crap. Do you, it's wow, that's a lot, okay. All right, I'm gonna tap it into the lid. Yikes, okay. But I mean, it seems like a really nice formula. Wow, like actually. And I did this backwards. I, we just filmed this eye look. So I put my mascara on so they could see what it looked like. And uh, that's gonna make it a little more challenging, I think. Yep, that did nothing. But make me sad. All right, well, we've committed now. So let's do this. I'm gonna go in with the other eye. Oh, we're gonna get a nice little base for both of them. Maybe I can do the other eye a little bit better. Let's see. 
All right, that one looks a lot better, except it's like 10 feet above where it should be. So they're gonna be thick today because I'm gonna have to adjust. I don't know. I don't know if I, I'm gonna use the same stuff. I'm gonna use a little brush now and I'm gonna try and clean it up. And then if not, I've got backup pens and stuff that I know I like to work with when I work with eyeliner. It's actually a lovely formula. Unfortunately for this one, it kind of like went up in this like really weird area. So I've actually got a nice shape going on and then like one blob that is just... His name's Frederick. I just named him. Frederick is my blob. Oh, I kind of want to leave Frederick. He's like part of the family now, but like, sorry, bud, you're gonna have to go. I'll fix you later. Actually, I don't hate it. I really don't. Like the, the little brush itself is kind of a really nice little applicator. And to go in and kind of clean up the sides of it is not as challenging as I would think. That's actually a really nice wing, except for Frederick. Like, besides Frederick, we, we got something going on here. So, I'm sorry, Frederick. You gotta go, bud. Um, I'm just gonna take a little concealer, and I'm gonna try and uh, weed him out, and then I'll put a little bit more eyeshadow over him. All right, just sit there for a second, Frederick. Think about what you've done. All right, so actually beautiful wing shape. Honestly, not I'm not disappointed with it. I just don't like the stamp. So the idea of it is... Um, good in theory, but I was, maybe I just did not do the stamp correctly. Maybe it's my, it's user error. But um, the little brush to fix it up, I actually really like as a, an application process. Um, now, unfortunately, also with this one, it's like, it should have been out here and it's like over on top of my eye. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go in with concealer for this one too. <sighs> maybe we should just, before I start trying to build a little something here, maybe I should just go in with the, this first. Yay! We're doing great, guys. I have to conceal all of my problems, which is why I buy shape tape. All right, let's go in again. Go in again. I'm gonna try the stamp again. But I'm gonna try placing the stamp in the right area. There it is. Okay, got it in the right area. All right, yeah, so, so actually in theory, I like this because it gives you a general shape. I can't get it really to stamp perfectly, but if it gives you a general shape that you can follow, I like that. So I'm not, I'm not disappointed right now for $14 that I paid for this. It's actually not a bad, um, not a bad deal. Do I think you can go in and stamp your eyes and then go out the door? No, I don't. But do I think you can make a really nice general cat eye with this? Yeah, I do. I like this. I'm, a, I'm actually a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it actually is not bad. No, it's, it, in theory, it definitely seems. It's, it's helped. It is an yeah. assistant. It's not going to do the job for you, but it right. can assist you. And actually, I'm a fan of that. Like, I, I'm a fan of that. Okay, those are pretty, right? Yeah, they look they really look good. good. They look really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, you know what? I'm not disappointed with these. These are probably better than what I could do on my own. Um, I did go in, I used my Laura Geller... Uh, eye calligraphy liquid eyeliner, which is one of my favorite eyeliner pencils. I mean pens. It's like a liquid one I'm actually gonna go in really quick with it here Yay for having ADHD, but yeah, I'm I'm actually I'm actually thrilled with this This was a great purchase for $15. I don't think I'd be that disappointed if I paid full price for it. Honestly It is not going to do the job for you. I was just talking to Nikki about it off camera It's not gonna do the job for you. It is going to assist you in building a decently symmetrical well-shaped cat eye and that's not a bad thing that's I mean that's like you know you, I'm okay with it um they're not perfect this one's like a little wonkier there's a little bit of patchiness I may try and go fix like after we stop filming but overall I'm really happy with it um I would recommend it if especially like when it goes on sale I don't know if it'll go on sale again because it was just on sale but it's um I think it was a decent investment and I'm sure I'll use it again so I hope you guys like this video um, I was kind of pleasantly surprised, not gonna lie. So if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the page a ton. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. Encourage your friends and family to do as, so as well. And um, hit the notification bell so you see when we post about the giveaway. We can go ahead and uh, get you included in that so you can try and win some good stuff. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.